Good morning. Time for weather here. It is St. Patrick's Day, and uh, my tie has some in it, but, but I actually now I'm wearing my little green map. Oh, you see the map right there? See the small map, right? Weather map that I can just look down and see the weather. Looking at the big picture this morning, that is uptown Charlotte. It is overcast. It's low deck of clouds and fog out there. We take you up to the Beach Mountain Parkway. That's foggy uh, in a lot of spots, so be aware that a little extra time. Put the load beams on. In fact, fog here in Charlotte, less than two mile visibility. In fact, 1.3 mile visibility here here in Rock Hill is eight tenths of a mile visibility, less than two miles there at Morganton. So be aware, patchy, even some dense fog across the area this morning. Temperatures pretty consistent. We are looking at the entire region with temperature. No, the entire region, uh, the mountains all the way to the northern Piedmont, right here in the southern Piedmont. Temperatures this morning in the mid to upper 40s out there. Our viral we go a lot better as far as temperatures and the lack of rain today will be in the low 60s as we head right into the afternoon. That is the good news. Take a look at future cast. We take you through the day showers off the East Coast. You can see a line of showers tracking towards the area tomorrow. Heavy rain and storms tracking across the region right through the middle part of the day into the afternoon. As far as what's going on at the moment, as we scan the skies, no rain or storms here, but we expand the big view with some showers tracking off the Carolina coastline this morning, not anywhere close to us. Right there from Kansas into Oklahoma and Texas, a line of strong and severe thunderstorms this morning. That's the weather system that is tracking our direction. You see an area of low pressure cranking up out there. Snow across uh, parts of Colorado, New Mexico. As we take a look and show you the weather risk today, that includes the Mid-South uh, and, and the potential for extreme weather today in parts of uh, Mississippi and Alabama. Tornado threat there. Now for us, this is tomorrow that we see the opportunity. And notice we are kind of in that high end category potential for severe thunderstorms. As far as the tornado threat tomorrow, we're here in, in the Charlotte area, Charlotte East and Southeast. We're in about a 15% category for that for some of those uh, spin up tornadoes. We'll certainly keep an eye on that. As far as rainfall totals between Thursday, say all day Thursday and early Friday, uh, maybe about an inch in the mountains. We could get about six tenths of an inch here in the Charlotte metro area, maybe an inch close by along the I-40 corridor, especially today in the mountains, mild, low 60s there, low to mid 60s in the foothills, about the same across the Charlotte metro area. More clouds and sunshine, but certainly a much milder day today on St. Patrick's Day. We'll hit about 64. Tomorrow, warming up in to the low 70s, but tomorrow that's with the potential for some strong thunderstorms out there. Uh, a lot of cloud to ground lightning winds well over 60 miles per hour. We could even see dime to quarter size hail. Friday's not too bad. We'll be in the upper 50s for the weekend. It's the beginning of spring on Saturday. It's going to be kind of cool. We'll be in the mid to upper 50s over the weekend. Monday and Tuesday back into the mid to upper 60s. That's the weather word. 